Most people don't want to be where they're not wanted, right? If you're like me, if you're hanging around or in a situation where you don't feel anyone cares that you're there or that they're friendly to you, the odds are you're not going to stay there long, huh? Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. Great story in the book of Luke, the eighth chapter. Jesus has been exposed to a demonic man. He's full of demons. They said a legion of demons. And the demons, as Jesus came up to this man to minister to him, the demons, interestingly enough, recognized him right away, also knew what his power was. They said, please don't send us into the abyss. Isn't that interesting that the demons knew that Jesus had the power over them and verbalized that? So Jesus said, okay, I won't do that. And the, and the demon said, send us into these pigs. So Jesus sent them into the herd of pigs. They went over a cliff and drowned and died. Another footnote, the devil and his demons are out to kill, steal, and destroy. They do not want what they are in touch with to live. That's part of their mission. So that's what happened. But here's where I'm going with the story. So the people come out and see what happened. An entire herd of pigs dead and the demonic man sitting there with full, uh, able to think and be a normal person and the demons were gone and he was relaxed. And this scared the people. So the people out of fear of Jesus and what he had just done asked him to leave we don't want you around here. So what Jesus do? He got up and left. You know, Jesus does not want to be where he's not wanted, just like we would be. So there's times that people in their lives get fearful of Jesus. They don't understand him. They don't understand his power. And so either by word or action, push Jesus away. They don't want him around. And Jesus, as a gentleman he is, moves away and leaves them alone. But they have left his presence. I challenge you this morning to not send Jesus away. Do everything you can to be in his presence. If you ask him to be near you, if you want to be in his presence, I can guarantee you he will be there. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. That is his one love to be in your presence. So let's not be fearful of him and send him away, but let's do our best to allow Christ to be as close as possible to us today. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.